organization is key when it comes to developing an efficient and scalable application on Bubble. And this couldn't be more true when it comes to the way you label things. Everything from uh, your data components, your option sets, fields, data types, to the front end visual elements, you know, your containers, your text, your pop-ups, and also your workflows. So here's a tip that I like to share with all of our clients, and now I'm sharing them with you on a really fun way, but also very useful uh, method to organize the way you label things. It's going to make things uh, really easy to identify. Take a look. So here we are in our data structure, and we're going to insert emojis into our data type name. So this is the first use case. OK, we're going to actually do this in many different places in the editor here. I'm on a PC. This also works for Mac. Um, on PC specifically, it's going to be Windows period. And we'll pull up this little library. And for my appointment data type, you know, if I want to insert some kind of a calendar emoji, I'll select that one there. And Bubble is going to include this everywhere we see the data type name. Of course, in the data types uh, tab here, in app data, in my design, if I have a, you know an expression that's referencing it, you can see it in the elements tree, in the element lookup list right here. Anywhere you see the data type name, that emoji is going to come with it because it's a part of the name. So like I said, for uh, Windows computers, the shortcut is the Windows key, and you want to hold down the period key with it. For Mac computers, it's Control, Command, Space. Okay, you want to hold down all three of those keys, and that keyboard will come up so that you can select your emojis and um, add them in. So here's another use case for this. I'm going to add next to conversation thread. I'm going to pull up my keyboard. I'm going to do an envelope, right? Because this is like an, a messaging feature. And I can also copy this emoji, just like a regular text character, go into my message data type and just paste it. So I'm just using Control C and V, just like I would copy and paste any text. And here's one of the benefits of adding an emoji to the front. Bubble will naturally sort your data types um, and your fields in alphabetical order. I may have, you know, over a dozen data types in here, and some data types might be related to one another, but they may not appear next to each other in the order of, you know, how I want them to be grouped. But if I put the same emoji next to the, in front of the name, that's a, a really helpful way for me to group my data types because Bubble is now alphabetizing them by the emoji. And if we're, you know, ordering them with the same emoji, they're going to show up next to each other. You can also add these into your element uh, names. So for example, this button submit, I can put, uh, let's do like a check right here, All right? So that's going to show up in the name of the element. Again, anywhere you see these labels, they will also appear. Um, if you had a group element, right, you can put uh, an emoji in front of that and it can help you organize your elements tree and really see how uh, things are nested within one another based on some kind of a visual, uh, you know, illustration. Same thing for your workflows and your workflow folders. So I can come into here and this is a click. Let's see if I can find a, a mouse click, right? Button click, whatever it is, right? And that's going to help me order my, uh, sort my workflow events because Bubble also sorts these alphabetically. Um, same thing for my folders. So let's say I have, um, let's, do, let's just do another check here. This. And we'll say submit flow or payment flow, something like that, right? Um, and it will help you order and, and visually organize these folders as well. This may not seem like a big deal with these few examples. I have you know, a pretty blank page here, not very many data types, but it makes a massive difference when you have a much more elaborate um, editor with many pages, many types, fields, uh, you know, literally dozens, if not hundreds of visual elements on the design. We've certainly seen it uh, with our own clients and it can make a huge impact in how you move around your editor. It also doesn't hurt that you're bringing in a little more fun to your app's development. So I encourage you to try it out. It can make a really big difference in your organization.